all of this coming. Anyways, so I think this is a good volume. I made it to SoCal. I'm currently in orange right now. I don't have a job yet. Still looking for a job. Um, but it's going well. I'm adjusting well. And tonight there is a event. Oh, there's an event. Um, and there's some work that I need to do. But I just wanted to record a quick video. Um, I also probably need to think about well, what kind of videos I want to make because I think it's nice to have some sort of direction. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so I just wanted to talk about two things today. One was I woke up to a tweet notification that Angry Asian Man posted Asian names are less likely to get interviews. That scares me because my name is Ngo N and people who are Vietnamese can barely pronounce it, let alone people who are not Vietnamese. So my name journey has definitely been a very interesting one. I remember first graduating out of college and when I graduated college looking for jobs, I definitely put down a different name than I wanted. And I remember being so scared at that time just of a lot of things. And then I changed my name while I had the job. And my boss was very supportive, so thank you. And the next job that I had, I put a shortened version of my current name, Anne, and that was not ideal, but it was something. And then my last job, I, put, I was full-blown up Anne, and it was great, very good. The folks at my job didn't really ask me how to pronounce my name, so they kept pronouncing it the way that they thought it was pronounced and I can't really blame them. I'm sure they had friends who told them that it was pronounced knock, knock, knock. Anyways, so I've been contemplating whether I should change my name so that I can get a job in a field that I don't really have an experience in, in an area that I don't really have connections in, but work, the network, I guess. So we'll see. Uh, second thing is I'm currently reading this book uh, written by Frederick Douglass and it is his first book, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. It's an awesome book. Actually, in this physical book, there are three of his written works. So I'm excited, hopefully, to read the other ones. It's pretty dense though, so I'm also kind of intimidated. But I really wish that this was a required reading for me in high school, and if it was, great! And I got this from the library in Tustin, which is right next to Irvine. I didn't realize how close to Irvine I am. But uh, once I finish it, I guess I'll let you guys know how it goes. But that's it for today! Hey! Um, so I'm actually going to the beach today. And I finished that Frederick Douglass book, the first one. It's pretty short, so I definitely recommend it for high school students or at least college students. Somebody needs to read it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have, actually. But uh, going to the beach today, bonfire with friends that I've never met before, and uh, I am interested to get graham crackers. So we'll see how that goes. That's basically it. Also trying to drink a liter of water. I have this water bottle that I bought from a gas station uh, when I first moved down here, when I was driving with my mom, uh, and it's a liter, so I just fill that up and I bring it with me and I try to drink it throughout the day while I'm bumming at Starbucks. I also have dried mangoes that I got from Trader Joe's ever since a couple months ago when my last workplace had dried mangoes that's like the most awesome thing I consume. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my god.